evening, everyone. That suspicious pan of cornbread that sent 13 people to the hospital from the Covered Bridge Festival is tonight getting even more scrutiny. This after a state police laboratory finds an ingredient in the bread no recipe would call for. That mystery additive, as it turns out, is a highly toxic man-made chemical called AB Panaka. Sheriff's investigators say it's a synthetic cannabinoid they're comparing to the drug K2 and bath salts. News 10's Brent Fraser joins us now with this development that's making authorities more and more suspicious. It's tonight's top story. Brent? Patrice, at 5 o'clock, we told you the family who made this pan of cornbread is admitting to the Clay County Sheriff's Department that they've made synthetic marijuana at home in the past. Question now is, was this foreign substance simply old residue or was it dropped into the homemade bread as a deliberate additive? The chief deputy in Clay County tells News 10 state police found a new age man made drug AB Panaka in that very pan of cornbread vendors shared at a carry in dinner when covered bridge wrapped up. So what is AB Panaka? Well, sheriff's investigators liking it, liken it rather to those once over the counter products we've heard so, so much about like K2 and bath salts. Bottom line here, folks, that substance is extremely dangerous when ingested which might explain why a total of 13 people went to the hospital that fateful weekend. This isn't something that's going to be detected in their bloodstream because it's a synthetic cannabinoid. It doesn't act the same way that marijuana would, uh, the THC from marijuana would in a chemical test. Chief Deputy Rob Gamble there explaining why this man-made drug went undetected in two hospital emergency rooms that weekend where a combined 13 vendors from the Covered Bridge Fest were checked out. Tonight on Night Watch, an interesting footnote to this story. Sheriff's investigators tell us that same family who made this contaminated cornbread had a run in with federal authorities earlier this year, an incident that involved the feds intercepting an about to be delivered suspicious package. Mike Patrice. All right, thank you very much, Brent.